Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Pokemon White 2. Alright, I swapped around my team because I want to get ready for the Electric Gym. So instead of migraine the Psyduck, I swapped her out for Hermie, our Dwebble. I also taught it Dig instead of Sand Attack, so that's what my moves look like right now. And we did do a little bit of leveling. I took out Ember for Tony and put in Dig. So we got a little bit of ground coverage here and there. Plus Goofy also learned Bone Rush, so I placed Quick Attack with it. Another medal? What did I get this time? 30 boxed medal. Yeah, because I caught a Pan Sage in Lost Lawn Forest too. And that helped fill up the box. At least the first one. First of many. Alright, I haven't looked over this way. I think the electric gym could be there. Among other things. A dropped item? Huh? Okay, I'll pick it up. Um, hello? Yes, that's right. I'm the owner of the act at X Transceiver. I'm using an old tran X Transceiver right now, so it's audio only. Sorry. Thank you for finding it. Truth is, I want to come pick it up right away, but right now I'm very busy with work, and I'm not in a place where I can stop and come get it. If you don't mind, could you hang on to it for a little bit? Really? You don't mind? Thank you so much. My name's Ne- er, sorry, Yancey. And you are? Bonga? Okay, when work calms down, I'll come pick it up. So please take care of it for me. Also, I'm sure you want to keep in touch until I can pick up my X-Transceiver. So I'll call your X-Transceiver often. Bye then. Thanks again. That was weird. Oh, not the extra receiver. I meant the, uh... No, I meant the dowsing machine. Uh, 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 uh. What should I talk about on my first date? Oh, this guy. Even at the music park, he does nothing but play guitar. How cool. He loves music from the bottom of his heart. Probably doesn't even know a song. The best part of riding a roller coaster is screaming your heart out. Yeah, you kind of need that in your chest. So you die. Anyway, here's a revive. Okay, the shining roller coaster, former Nimbasa City Pokemon Gym. In other words, we don't go there right now. A roller coaster and a Ferris wheel. Which one should I ride first? Hmm. I don't know if I feel like riding any of them right now. I'm, I'm more interested in finding the gym. Oh my god, there's an Audino tent now. Is a thing that's a tent. A famous TV star came here for a shoot recently. Zeb One was always on TV. One thing I noticed while watching the shoot is that that star spends a lot of time in the X Transceiver. The entire break was talk, 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 laugh, laugh, laugh. What's that? Uh, I don't know. I do know. I do know. I don't know. I hear that a clown's makeup includes a teardrop mark. Uh, better for makeup than a tattoo. Oh? Are you a challenger, perhaps? I'm very sorry. The gym leader is out right now. I know where she went, though. She should be in the building where you can ride the roller coaster. It's by the entrance to this amusement park. Oh, that the old gym? I guess I'll have to go there now. I guess she misses the old place. To ride this roller coaster, the first step is to get in the car. Next comes the platform. There, you can change where the coaster is going. Sometimes you continue by riding the cars of opponents you defeat. That's how you aim for the back. Uh, I want to get on this one. Uh, 
Alright, fine. I have to fight you. Or not. Alisa's really amazing! Usually you just remodel the gym, but she built a completely new one! Alisa's really amazing. Okay, the roller coaster's path has been changed. Now we can go on a different platform. Oh, sorry for that abrupt pause. I had to take care of something real important. Faster, faster! A speed boost makes you feel great. Until internal decapitation sets in. Alright, when's, when's the car come? Thank you. Oh no. Hey there! Are you cool riding a roller coaster? I'm gonna overwhelm you with the speed I learned riding the roller coaster. Oh, are you now? Speed of what? Of me getting your money? Oh, you have a level 24 Blitzel, huh? Alright, well, good thing Hermes around to get some experience. And then I'm part rock. Because <laughs> that would have been an issue otherwise. Roll, 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 roller coaster! Of love. <laughs> get out of the way. Your way of battling. It's elegant. You've got style. Oh, I got away, so now I gotta wait for the next one. Today, game. How far does that track go? Thank you. Woo! I bet you one of them is gonna come out of there, yeah. Your roller coaster ride is finally nearing its finale. I'm also a Pokemon trainer who's toughened up by Ms. Alisa. I won't give up easily. Oh no, I'm not gonna make you give up the easy way. I'm gonna make you give up the hard way. Let as a Flappy. I think that one might be able to take an extra hit because it's partially evolved. Fully, I mean. Yep, what I tell ya. Do I want to do a bug bite? I guess I will. I get stabbed from it. What? My victory is taken away from me! It pleases me to be the opponent of a strong and honorable trainer like you. You should come here looking for the gym leader. I'm sorry you just missed her. She just left for the gym. Take this for making it all the way here. One paralyzed heal. So I hear the gym leader likes to thrill this roller coaster. I noticed. Now I'd like to get out. Thank you. Alright, time to go back to the current gym. Do I need to go to a Pokemon Center? No, I only used one Pokemon. And didn't even get hurt much at all. So I think we'll be fine. Let's just head on over there. Can do this thing. What do you think? Surprise, right? This gym is, speaking frankly, a glittering fashion show and a dazzling stage. Well, for now, I'll give you this. In this Pokemon gym, we'll have you proceed by defeating the trainers waiting on the catwalk. By the way, Electric-type Pokémon don't do well against ground-type moves. Oh. But ground-type moves 
Don't work against a Pokemon called Emolga. So please be careful. Well, that's why SmackDown exists. Welcome to the Nimbasa Gym! A stylish Pokemon battle and fashion show created by Pokemon and trainers is starting now! Alright, bring it on, ma'am. Oh god, you look like someone out of Zoolander! Come on, I made a level 27 Elekid. I could probably start this one off with Stealth Rock. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna survive the next hit. I might! So I'll just use Dig now. Okay, I'm not gonna survive the one after that. So I think we'll have to do a swap. Light screen? Oh, that's not gonna help you now. You were true! You scum. You knew I could have finished you right there. And that I was gonna use a weak move. And now look what you did. Now you're the one bringing in Alakid to disaster. I thought about Switch him and I was like, eh, whatever. I'll just take the extra experience right now. The show has just begun! What? It's over already? Yeah, you better let me through. Pretty decent music here, by the way. I'll give it that. Hey. Are you beautiful as a trainer? Surprise me. Oh, you're not gonna like this surprise. Lemming. Bringing in a Flappy as well. Alright, I'm just gonna go straight for Dig. Oh, damn. There's a bit more defense than I thought. Static! Oh, great. And Blitzel. Alright, I guess I'll bring in Goofy and try out the new Bone Rush. And again, Blitzel has Flame Charge, so this could be a bad move. Unless I crit. <laughs> so it worked out for the best. Strong and beautiful. You captivated me. And I made you more poor. It's like, oh no. I gotta ask for more money. Or they're gonna kick me out of the house. I better go to a Pokemon Center and patch things up. I think there's probably one more trainer you gotta take on and then you can make it to Elisa. On average, it's usually like two or three trainers in a gym and then you go for the leader. I thought I earned another medal too. I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna happen. Turns out no. You don't, you don't seem to get a medal for getting your first Pokemon at level... Level 30. Well, not that it's an issue anyway. Okay, looks like the team I got put together is doing just fine. Let's hope it stays that way. Like, I still remember, like... The painful memories of playing Pokemon Black 1. And Elisa was like a brick wall for a while. Are 
The show is coming to its finale. Now, I'll see if you are worthy to stand on the same stage as Elisa. It's gonna all come down to you, huh? Ampere? Or Ampere? That's how you pronounce it, I don't know. All I know is I'm ready to dig you out. Style. Oh, Elekid again? I thought I was gonna run into an actual Emolga here. Oh no. Paralysis and trying to use Dig. Well, it worked. But it easily could not have. Such strength and beauty. You got what it takes to share the same stage with Elisa. I plan on it. So you better move. Getting a little over the top of the presentation, but sure. I can work with it. Now let's see if she can work with me. I think if I'm gonna kick things off, I should use Shrew Carry first. Welcome to the main stage! My beloved Pokémon and your Pokémon shall compete! We're gonna see whose star shines brightest. The only way this could be a bad move is if she starts with a Molga. And she does! I made the mistake! Ah, son of a bitch. Well, she probably can't do much to me. So maybe Crush Claw. Oh, comes with static. Simply dazzling, eh? I mean, all you got is Pursuit. And Paralysis Luck. So I can take out a Molga right here. Brute Force, sometimes it works! Bring in Flaffy, huh? That's okay, Hermie's been putting in some work in this gym. Volt Switch? Ow! Zip Striker. Uh oh, this could be a problem. I got an idea. I could try to lower its attack, unless that uses Volt Switch too. Am I faster? I better be faster. Oh, it's probably gonna need heal. Then I guess all the same, I should just dig. And totally biff it on that. That was your chance and you blew it. Alright, get in there. You should have had another berry on you, Zip Striker. You're out. Now 
Now I'm happy with what I have. I've got to overcome this situation. Can't let my fans down. Oh, just those NPCs in the crowd? They don't notice you're even there. You shocked me through and through! You melted my heart! And your wallet. Well, now you! You're an even more wonderful trainer than I expected! Your sweet fighting style swept me off my feet! Take this! They already got a Titan Tron for me so quick. We just finished the fight seconds ago. If you have four badges, including this bolt badge, Pokemon up to level 50, including traded Pokemon, will obey you. Also, here's this move I like. Feel free to use it, um, if you want to. Volt Switch? Maybe. What's it to you if I use it or not? Volt Switch lets the Pokemon switch with a different Pokemon after attacking. Of course, if you don't have another Pokemon in your party, you can't switch. Alright, see ya. Oh, now what? Wait! Please walk with us. Um... Do I... Do I have to do it with style? A shining example of a trainer. Since that's what you are, you should be able to collect all the gym badges and reach the Pokemon League. Then, you and your Pokemon will shine even brighter. the goal. Right, we, we gotta go uh, shuffle our team again. What would I like to have in my party? Probably, a, you know, maybe get my flying type back. I think I might use freedom instead. And probably bring in migraine too. I'd like to have my water type back as well. So who can go out? I think Antony can leave. For now. And probably take out uh, Hermie. Which means I need to take this back. Yeah, let's just do our shuffling. So I think the next gym, if I remember, is ground? I believe we are going to a Drift Vale next. So I think that gym is still ground, right? So let's go. You back. I actually put you in for the first time. Not the Defiant ability, that's pretty cool. Yeah, if you wonder why I have two combis, there was a male one and then a female one. You can only use the female to evolve Ves to Vespaquin. There's no, uh, King Bee Pokemon. Sorry, that's just how it is. I thought bees were more progressive than that. Alright, so I guess we gotta go to Route 5 now. Oh, now what? This wasn't part of the script. Hold it! What are you guys up to here, anyway? Nothing. We're just standing here. So what did we do to you that you're bothering us with questions? You didn't do anything. Not to me, at least. But I can never forgive Pokemon thieves like you. Just to let you know, you're about to feel my rage! Yeesh! Trainers sure are unruly these days. Is that it? You're mistaking your Pokemon strength for your own? I couldn't care less about a runt like you, but I don't like being messed with. Banga, cover me! Fine. 
You've got some nerve for a little brat. Oh, time for me to clean up your mess. Oh, Watchog. Ugh, jeez, level 27. I'm gonna start things off with Leech Seed. Seems I made the right choice. And that trainer definitely did not use the right choice. Like, use Super Fang once, and then be done with it. What's the big idea? This Pokemon I stole is useless. Have you ever noticed that Team Plasma lately just keeps mentioning that they stole the Pokemon? Like, we, we get it. Like, why do you have to keep ramming it down our throats that you stole it? If we keep going like this, It'll end up like it did two years ago. Ah, I'm next. I stole this Pokemon. See? Two years ago. And I've been training it ever since. It's tough. Go, my stolen Pokemon that I stole two years ago. Like, you might as well just say that. Come on, Trubbish. Uh, this is not the fight for you. Get in there, Shrew Carry. You're stockpiling, eh? Didn't help. Why did that sound like a fart? Don't let it go to your head. You put up a good fight, kid. You gotta be kidding! And I bulleted so much over the last two years to toughen it up, too! We give up! I can't believe we lost the two kids! Just because you're strong, I'll tell you this. We, Team Plasma, are searching for something. When we find it, that's when our secret weapon will be able to use its true power! Farewell. Secret weapon? Five years ago, Team Plasma stole my little sister's purloin. I would give it to her as a present. I was only a little kid. I couldn't do anything. So, so that's why I have to get stronger. Good work. I knew you had good instincts. Well then. Listen up. You fill up that Pokedex. Keep getting stronger and stronger. And back me up. I'll be counting on you from here on out, too. This music sounds like something out of an RPG. Like an anime RPG, and not Pokemon. I mean, like, an... Other kind of Japan RPG or Japan anime, huh? You have four gym badges. You might be able to defeat Charles. Please beat him for me. All right, this is gonna be like the one of those triple battles. I need to make sure that I have at least a variety of Pokemon out there. And it looks like this will be okay. I can work with. These three. I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. I want to get the attention of a girl I like, so I mastered a new style of Pokemon battle and called Triple Battle. It's not that new anymore. Oh man, getting someone's attention is really hard. Wait, I thought you were just doing a tutorial, so I was like, let's just get on it. No, I have to learn about it before you can do it. In triple battles, you send out three Pokemon at a time and battle. The rules are simple. Just make all of your opponent's Pokemon faint. And that's a rough explanation of triple battles. I'm a heartbreaker. My name... Charles. Hey, if you're a trainer, 
How about a triple battle? Okay. You got a good attitude, don't you? I'm a heartbreaker. My name... Charles. I'm always at full throttle. Except when I do my intro, then I... Winded as hell. Tortuga, Sigilev, and Arkin. Hmm. That's an interesting roster you got there. Oh, wait. Triple Battle, it was in Black and White 1. No, Rotation Battle is Black and White 1. Triple Battles are different. But I can only attack, like, what's next to me, including the middle. Well, this sucks. This is one of the worst possible outcomes I can have. I guess I can do a Leaf Seed on Arkin. Oh, it's a rage in such a way that I have the worst matchups the whole time! I guess Crush Claw on you. And Force Palm on you. Okay, at least I can make something happen out of this. Not exactly the best go of things, but it's a go. Sigilove just keeps using defensive moves. Therefore, we only have to worry about two attacks, and now it's one. I guess we can go for Leaf Tornado. You are gonna use your turn to heal. And you can go for... I guess you can use Force Palm on Sigilyph. It doesn't have much HP anyway. So I'm not too concerned about coverage. Missed. You're gonna drag it out one more turn, huh? Of course you would. I see how it is. Missed! Oh my god. Well, at least the Leech Seed still won it for us. I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. Yeah, I, I know. Sheesh. That's embarrassing. Getting schooled when I was planning to teach. Still, you have potential. You have to understand your Pokemon to win in a triple battle. I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. Running a bike and becoming the wind fits a bad boy like me. You were great! Charles, too. He was great to some extent, I guess. And they all just piss off and do their own thing. What a waste of time that was. After watching a football game, we want to get rowdy ourselves. Whoa. Knowing what a truly heated battle is all about is the key to truly passionate cheering. Oh, you just got two of the same Pokemon. That's kind of lazy.
Actually, I'm better off just using Swift. Like, I was at a fever dream, so I Swift myself. And it turns out they also have that same move. Because of course they do. See ya. You defeated us so soundly that even I feel refreshed. I cheered as best I could. No, you didn't. You were pretty silent the whole time. I'm not bothering with that. Let's get on the bridge. Oh, right, this is where you get a whole bunch of wings and feathers. Sometimes above the bridge, you can see the shadows of bird Pokemon, right? Their feathers drift to the ground here. When you pick them up, occasionally you'll run into a Pokemon. Oh, it's a fun fest mission? Whatever. Driftfell City is famous for the Strawbridge, the PWT, and of course, the Heartbreaker. Charles. Like, why is he famous for it? Like, everybody else goes on the bridge, too. The Driftvale Drawbridge. It's also known as the Charizard Bridge. Because the raised drawbridge looks like the Pokemon called Charizard. But I've never seen Charizard, so I don't know. I doubt it looks that much like a Charizard at all. Oh, that music hasn't changed either. So how about this city's pride and joy, the drawbridge? We also call it the Charizard Bridge due to its elegant form. Bridges connect different lands. Trading and battling with Pokemon can connect different people. I guess that means Pokemon are a kind of bridge as well. Maybe. Welcome to Driftvale City. We, can, we don't have a slogan, just roll with it. An Ultra Ball. Cool. Not cool. Come on! That's how fun stealing Pokemon together, like we did before. I can't. I learned the hard way that stealing from others is wrong. Oh, come on! It's too late to start acting all goody two shoes now. People don't understand our just cause. Don't they call you a villain who was plotting world domination? Even though you quit Team Plasma, Hither is still really cold to you, right? So you might as well just come steal Pokemon with us and take over the world. The people who are mean to you now will be groveling at your feet and saying how great you are. I can't. My Lord N will be sad. I can't do that to him. N. Team Plasma's king? What a joke. He's nothing more than a traitor. He disappeared somewhere and abandoned us when we needed him. Hey! Start talking, you Team Plasma Trash! Ow! We gotta pay for that. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'm not supposed to cause any trouble. I'll get you next time. You're not getting away. I'm okay. We were friends when we were both in Team Plasma. But two years ago, Team Plasma was split into a group that follows Lord N, who just wants to save Pokemon, and a group that follows Getsis, who plans to take over the world. You can hear the rest of the story in our home. It's on that little hill next to the Pokemon Gym. Okay, so... It's pretty much like a Team Plasma and Team Plasma Hollywood. Or Team Plasma Wolfpack, I mean to say. I'm very sorry. The Pokemon World Tournament will commence shortly. We're still preparing the area. Oh, you don't have the Driftvale City Gym Badge yet? In that case, how about taking on the Pokemon Gym first? Oh, it's not over that way? Huh. 
So I have to go up. Alright. Even though I used to look at the cold storage every day, I've already forgotten what it looked like. Maybe you have amnesia. You should get that checked. Different kinds of Pokemon can learn different kinds of moves. Yeah, I, I've known that since the first game. I am grateful you came all this way. Are you a trainer? Ooh, you have a Pokedex. It's so marvelous. I wonder if you please do me a favor. I'd like to see a Pokemon that learned a move called Cut. To be clear, that's Cut. Please show it to me today. Oh my my my! Your Servine can use Cut. Did you go through the trouble of teaching it to your Pokemon? It's not trouble, but sure. Marvelous! Here's a small token of my appreciation. Please don't hesitate to accept this. Just a heart scale, okay. I don't know what cut looks like when it's actually used. Yeah, you want to dress up like a tree and I'll show you? Welcome to the Driftvale Luxury Suites. I'm so sorry, but we're full. Please enjoy our lobby. No, what if I want to ride the elevator? Getting to know someone creates both joy and sorrow. Puns are funny when you first met. Get old when you hear them all the time. We'll just make new puns. As the gym leader in Nimbasa City, Alisa has a shockingly packed schedule. That's what you expect from an electrifying model. Oh, she's the one with the puns. Three years ago, Team Plasma talked me into letting my dear Pokemon go. Ever since, I've been staying in hotels as I please. To be honest, I feel lonely. It's a good thing not to have Pokemon who be left behind and feel sad after I passed away. Uh, that's a pretty depressing way of looking at it. 23rd floor, please. Oh, somebody got a pan for My condolences. Not expect to guess. This is a gift from such a person. An Everstone? Can't wait to trade that to attach to a Haunter. <laughs> no matter what my guests order, I always serve them in the same manner. That's what I learned from my father, who was a Pokemon trainer. Hey Stunfisk, Panpour, my dear precious Pokemon, kick back and relax today. Why a Stunfisk though? And why a Panpour? Gonna pick better Pokemon? Maybe they're your favorites, I won't judge. Just an odd duo to have as a favorite. When there's an item in your bag you want to switch, just press select and give it a new niche. Does that jingle take you back? No. Hey. I want to level up my dear Pokemon so they never have to feel the sting of defeat. Let me just get the typing right. Drifel Market? The Elite Four of the Pokemon League are extremely tough. I hear you can't battle them unless you have eight gym badges. Oh, there's the Pokemon Center. I was looking for that. Alright, I should go look for that uh, house that uh, the X Team Plasma members wanted me to go to. They said I was up the hill, right? So it should only be around here. Huh? Hi! Is this Bonga? Wow, so you're a boy, Bonga? It's a little annoying that we can't see each other, right? Just so you know. I'm a girl. Tee <laughs> Oops. My colleague is calling me. I have to get back to work. Talk to you again. Goodbye. You, you couldn't arrange to have that picked up or anything? Oh. Sir. That's the person I was talking about. Over here. This way. Is that one of the sages? Ooh, so you're interested in Team Plasma, are you? 
If you hear what we have to say, you might be able to understand us. I guessed. If you're going to come inside, I would like to see what kind of person you are, trainer. That's right, in a Pokemon battle. Do you find this acceptable? Let us begin. Yeah, it would be very rude of me to decline. I'll see myself out. Joke's on you, Leaf Tornado is special. Start. Bat. Oh, you, you cannot stay here. We gotta go. <laughs> uh, Spark should still be good, I hope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got paralysis to kick in, too. Oh, you fight as if you really understand your Pokemon. I apologize for testing you. Being former members of Team Plasma, we must deal with a lot. He got away! And that is... Your friend? You may join us. Yo, that guy on the right is a very thick outline. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Rude. You guys are all Team Plasma too, right? Tell me, what makes you different from the Team Plasma back there? More accurately, we're former members of Team Plasma. Because of the incident two years ago, we started taking care of the Pokemon that were separated from their trainers as a way to atone for our misdeeds. And you are... I'm Cole, from Asperdia City. Five years ago, Team Plasma, I mean you, stole my little sister's Pokemon. I'm the pathetic trainer who wasn't able to stop you. Separated? What a joke. You were the thieves who stole them. Is that so? My sincerest apologies. Just an apology? That's it? Where's my sister's Pokemon? Purloin! Where's Purloin? The Pokemon you speak of is not in this place. I imagine it's still being used by Team Plasma now. Just as you say, our apologizing doesn't solve anything. But you can't move forward unless you admit you are wrong and apologize. Enough already! Apologizing isn't just gonna get my sister's Pokemon back. Manga, I'm going to the Pokemon Gym. Huck is stronger and crush every single member of Team Plasma. Team Plasma made trainers like him suffer. I feel terrible about it, how foolish we were. Manga, as you can see, I can't do anything to thank you. Actually, I have a favor to ask of you. Could you please look after this Pokemon, Zoroa? Oh, thank you. What's this? It seems you can't take any more Pokemon with you. Did you put it in the box? I'm waiting for my Lord N to return. He can talk to Pokemon. If he comes back, we can find out what the Pokemon here want. My food. You can't change the past, but you can change the future. That's why I changed my outfit. I can still fit into the old one, though. Really? We're taking care of the Pokemon whose trainers we can't find. I know it seems arrogant, but it's a small way to make up for what we've done. Hello. Team Plasma is an organization created by a man named Getsis to help him take over the Unova region. The one he groomed to help him further his nefarious aims was N. N was a strange boy who called the ch was called the child of the Pokemon. N was an orphan. I heard that right after he was born, he upset people with behavior that suggested he could talk to Pokemon. 
When he was living in the woods with Darmanitan and Zorua, Getsis took him in. We were also orphans Getsis took in. Our task was to take care of N. This Pokemon has become attached to me. That's why I'm treating it like a friend and not like a tool. Okay, so I guess all the Team Plasma Reform members are here? There are former members of Team Plasma in there. Yeah, I know. I I just came from there. Huh? Construction on a shortcut to Twist Mountain has started. It's gonna take a while because digging's difficult. There should be another route over here, right? Route 6? Yes, there is. What Pokemon are found here in Route 6? Okay, these? Well, at least I'll get to train here. Well, let me look at that again. Okay, Dunsparce is found here again? I still haven't found one in the wild. That's pretty sad. So I can't go to the mountain entrance just yet. And that's where an item is. Oh, there's the gym. Challenging the gym, huh? Nice. Keep getting stronger. Let me tell you, though, play is tough. Even if all you have to use against ground types is water type Pokemon, you might still be in for a rough fight. Oh, I believe you. That is why I am going to train over there on that route to the west. Actually, before I end the episode, let's take a look at the market. Uh, I'll take a dozen Moo Moo Milk. Got some milks! You want something good? And show me a level Pokemon level 30 or more. Oh, strong. You, great. Take this. An expert belt. You, glad you came. Get good of expert belts. If a Pokemon is an expert belt, the power of its moves is slightly boosted when they are super effective. Oh! The medicinal herbs imported from another region work very well. Oh, they're bitter herbs. Used to be part of Team Plasma. I have various kinds of incense. May I help you? Oh, they're expensive though. I find it very weird that there's wave incense and there's sea incense. But they kind of do the same thing. I think a pure incense would be good to have. I don't know if it works like a repel, though. A luck incense might be good, too. And I think that'll be it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm all sold out. That Charles guy bought everything I had. What would... What were you selling, anyway? Why can't I get over- Oh, I know why I can't. So I need to go to the entrance to the left. Embargo. Excellent. That's another TM to our name. Yeah, you, you just keep going around the market like a fool. Alright, so I guess that's going to be a good ending point for the episode. I know I didn't go to every building. And I didn't grab every item either. There's a calcium. That'll be good for special attack. Yeah, I think I'm just going to save it for the next episode. Alright, everyone? Maybe I'll explore more of the buildings in here, and then we'll take on the gym. See everyone, thanks for watching.